hello guys so let's start by the domain and deploy the application so in the previous video I said that uh, I was going to buy an online dot online domain because it's cheap but uh, it is a catch so if you renew that that would be a huge amount I uh, remember that the second year that would be uh, total would be 53 oh that is too much so let's get the com very uh, common and um, yeah a bit of expensive in the first year but it's predictable so I'm going to build uh, to buy one year confirm the order and let's check out with my PayPal the details and also the authenticator Let's continue and continue to review the order. Okay. And that's it. That's it. I have bought a domain. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and appoint this domain DNS to DigitalOcean, which is my host. Okay. So let's manage the domain. Let me log into my digital option. And my email. Okay. Okay. So let's try to add the domain. Create a domain in DNS. Okay. Is wallets.com. Yeah, add domain. And then uh, I need to point this domain to uh, my VM, which is this one. Okay, so this is the, the VM where we deploy the Angular and the, uh, the, the backend API. So we have. Uh, this is NS1, NS2, and NS3. So just copy this. Okay, custom NS1, NS2, NS3, and that's it. That is all uh, we need to do. I don't know there's a com dot at the end here. That is, that's it. Okay, go back to this one, and I'm going to add some records. Records, right? Yep. So dub dub dub. Put point to this too, and also uh, star. I don't know. This is uh, point everything to this this host, and that's it. So we have everything ready, I guess. Let's try to access this. Uh, it needs some time to, to update the DNS record. So yeah, actually this is correct. We have SSL protocol error. So let's do this next with um, CAD server. Okay. So back to my server here. So I need to to my CAD Docker. So we have Catify here. Exactly. So in this uh, Catify, I need to uh, have a lot of domain here. And uh, I would have some, uh, some domains and subdomains. And the nice thing about Cati is it will manage the SSL automatically for me. So uh, let's do this. So we are going to have this. I have, uh, yeah, the domain name. This point to the Angular app. So since the Cadi uh, and the Angular app is on the same network, so I can use the domain name, uh, the, the container name, Docker PS. So that would be, this is the front end, right? 
and we will uh, reverse proxy to this and port 80. Yeah, that's it. And also, uh, I need to have like the API server pointing to the API container uh, port running API. And that uh, the API is running on it uh, port 99, right? Uh, 9191, okay. So let's uh, just copy the name. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is 9191. Exactly. So we will also need to uh, import the course header. So this is the uh, config in uh, Kadi. So you have the the course block here. Then you can uh, you can uh, use this to uh, avoid the course error when making call from the front end to the back end. Okay. So let's let's try this. Let's the API. Yeah. Just copy this and. Uh, make sure you update the the call from Piki's wallets.com and that should be it now I'm going to restart uh, restart Kati to load the configuration so the Kati uh, container would be let me see what is that PS grab Kati that's the Kati Gateway. Go restart Kati Gateway. And make sure to look at the log, see if there's some misconfiguration. Okay, there's a lot of log over the years, so uh, just less 10 lines. Authorizes, authorization fails, so, oh, it's not. That's not our domain. So go back to our server. Wikis wallet dot com. Let's see if we have SSL. Oh my, yeah. So exactly, this is the front end. Okay. So we have the front end up, and the back end is up. But uh, at this point, we cannot call. Haven't been able to call. But haven't been able to call. Uh, the wallet API to the backend, so we need to do some extra configuration. So let's the first copy this one and go to uh, applications and go to our app. This is the app I use for the front end configuration. So make sure you check if the client ID uh, is match. So go to our application. Yeah, this is the client ID. So uh, go down here. Make sure you add the new domain here. So uh, just to be sure, I add the version with slash and version without slash here, and with also this one, and also this one. So three places. So make sure to save that. Save changes here. Okay, and also. We need to declare the API. Now the API uh, is not localhost 9292 anymore. I'm going to create a new one, production API, and that would be yeah API, and leave everything as default there. I don't think we need to do any extra configuration in this case. So yeah, leave everything as default. And now go back to uh, our application, the front end, front end application, and update this uh, authentication module configuration. So the allow list here, you need to use the API server, and this is very important. This is the asterisk, so we accept everything. Begin with the uh, API server. So the uh, the Angular app, the the now the auth zero module in the angular app will attach 
a token when sending a request to this server. So the API server here is in local, but in production, uh, this is the API server. So go back to the app module here. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much everything you need to configure. So there are three places, environment, API server, API server. Yep. And uh, that's it all. And uh, make sure open Jenkins. And let's uh, build this. Actually, I have pushed this already. And now go back to uh, our, our application. And click on go to wallet. And sure enough, uh, we have the login here. So still with the same user configure on the front end, uh, on, on the development environment. So click on continue. And here we are in the wallet. So my first wallet. Press wallet and balance. And it should be where I should be uh, able to create the wallet. And sure enough, you see, guys, we have successfully created the first wallet. So, well, this concludes uh, the whole series. I hope you find this is helpful. So you can um, you now know how to view uh, an Angular app, uh, connect to a Spring Boot API, and then. Um, integrate that with all zero and also deploy this application to an SSL domain using uh, Jenkins and Docker and also uh, thanks to Caddy we have uh, automatic SSL out of the box so thanks again for watching and I see you um, in the next video bye bye